Hi, welcome to Three Questions with my friend David with us. Good afternoon, David. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing today? I just live in the dream, my friend. So kind of go in a little different direction today because um, this came up the other, the other day. Someone was asking me about a realtor in Lake Sunapee. Yeah. And I had to admit, David, I don't know anything about Lake Sunapee. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> so how about we start there? Where is it? All right. So Lake Sunapee, Kevin, is located uh, within Sullivan County in Merrimack County in western New Hampshire. Um, and it's just so you know, one of its, its top five largest lakes in New Hampshire. Um, the lake itself is approximately eight miles long. Um, and depending where you are on the lake, it could be half a mile wide to over two and a half um, miles wide. Um, when you're on the lake and you're boating around with your friends, your family, or your neighbors, you've got 11 islands on the lake itself. You've got Loon Island, Elizabeth Island, Twin Islands, Great Island, Minute Island, Little Island, Star Island, Emerald Island, um, Isle of Pines, and I'm having a hard time remembering the rest, but you've got quite a bit. So Kevin, if you're coming up 93 from Manchester yep. uh, and you're about to enter into Concord, all you're going to do is hop on 89 and you're just going to go up 89, past Hopkinton, follow the signs to um, either Newbury, Sunapee, and, and you'll be on Lake Winnipesaw, uh, excuse me, Lake Sunapee in probably 35 minutes after you start going up 89 from Concord. So David, besides boating, what else can I do up there? What's the draw? There is so much to do in the Lake Sunapee region, Kevin. It's not going to be like Boston. In fact, it's the complete opposite. People who go to this region, you know, it's, it's a quieter life. It's a very cultural life, uh, very naturistic. Um, you've got things like Mount Sunapee Ski Resort. Um, I snowboard, and I think um, that that ski resort is probably one of the nicest in New Hampshire, and that's out of Newbury. Um, if you want to treat yourself, you've got the spa out Mountain Edge. There's tons of beautiful and just quaint quintessential New England inns like the Fells. Um, if you're in the New London area, which isn't too far from Lake Sunapee itself, you've got what locals call the barn. Um, and it's actually the new London Barn Playhouse. So there's tons of cultural events up that way. Um, you've got um, flea markets, you know, um, art, art markets. And a lot of that, Kevin, the cultural events, I think, stem from um, Dartmouth, uh, which is New Hampshire's Ivy League College, not too far up the road in um, the Hanover, Lebanon area. So a lot of that comes down towards the Lake Sunapee region. You've got Sunapee cruises. If you've got a sailboat, you know, you can go out, you know, join the, join the regatta, but you've also got the Bell Cove historic caboose museum. I love trains. <laughs> Anyone that follows me probably sees that I've taken some photos with antique trains and stuff. So museums, you know, and anything under the sun, wildlife or outdoorsy, you name it, rock climbing, biking, you can do it in the Lake Sunapee region. So random question for the last one. Do you have any notable residents? Of course. So this one is always fun for me because there's actually quite a few notable residents from that area. The first notable resident is Steven Tyler of the band Aerosmith. He has a beautiful home on Lake Sunapee. So anyone wants to rock out, Lake Sunapee might be the place for you, um, especially if you're neighbors with Steven Tyler. Um, another one in the kind of cultural artistic realm, you've got Ken Burns, uh, American filmmaker known for a style of using um, archival footage and photographs to document films. Um, and, and to think, you know, someone that if you go like on a, I'm forgetting the name, but like if you're going on iMovie on Apple and trying to make a video, they've even got an effect named after him, the Ken Burns effect, where it kind of <laughs> zooms in out. So he lives up there. Um, you've got John Hay, which was um, private secretary to President Lincoln and secretary of state under Presidents William McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt. Um, and then you've got Peter Diamond, um, who was a professor of economics at MIT and a Federal Reserve Board nominee. So plenty of, you know, world leaders, cultural leaders, leaders of, you know, our country actually come right from this region in Lake Sunapee. So, David, you also are a realtor. So if someone wants to buy a house in Lake Sunapee or any place else, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? A phone, 
1-800-273-7924. You can text or call. Awesome, David. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to come on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thank you for having me, Kevin. I appreciate it.